Hi Leo, welcome to this reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more if Leo is your Moon or Rising sign. Um, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Wow, okay you guys, you might not see this. Someone is coming back around. Well, not someone, whoever you're here for. If, you, if you're here for someone specific. If you're not here for anyone specific, it looks like it's someone you had a very strong connection to, whether it's like um, someone you were friends with in the past who has romantic feelings, maybe you do, they were never expressed, could be a soulmate, twin flame, but someone you have like that two of cups energy with, someone is coming back around. And I also, you know, I feel like you might not know because they could have been gone maybe on some journey, in a journey, physical journey um, for some time. You may not have heard for them for from them for some time they may not have said i'm coming in you know i'm coming over or i'm coming back to your town or whatever it is but i feel like they are um i'm also getting the image of an oyster you know and unless we pry the oyster open we don't know usually that there's a pearl inside so there's something good happening here in a situation where you might feel like there's distance or they walked away or you had to walk away so that's already i feel something um you know, that's not immediately clear that's going to re reveal itself to you. <clears throat> okay, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, look at that. A really deep connection here. What Maybe one um, that involves, you know, a uh, friendship as well as a, a, like a romantic attraction and connection as well um we have the four of cups in reverse hmm i'm seeing for some of you this is at the very least a third party situation your person seems to have someone um, and your situation right now might be that your person has told you or you can see or you believe that they're not happy in this other commitment um and they can see potential with you they can see an opportunity for happiness with you but until they drop the other commitment they can't come forward with an offer for you now, if it's not third party in that your person has another person, it could be your person has work, career, um, maybe responsibilities, obligations to like a community organization. Um, you know how some people can get really, really invested in hobbies and that becomes their passion more than maybe anything else in life. It could be something like that too what else please current situation knight of swords so there may have been some cross words about this you know when are we moving forward that was my chair <laughs> are you going to make an offer or i've made an offer to you are you going to accept it maybe just if there hasn't been a conversation just frustration around waiting for this yeah and we have the nine of swords so you might be worrying you might be wondering where do i stand with this person are they making any changes are they making any moves um especially if this is like a become a no contact situation we yeah look we have a three of cups on the back so some of you straight up wondering when am i going to hear from them when are we going to reconcile when are we going to just you know see each other face to face or have a really good conversation some of you also might be wondering you know what is going on with this third party situation is it going to <sighs> Um, yield anything good is anything good going to come of this can anything grow out of this situation is it going to stay as it is forever okay so let me have a bit more of a look at this eight of cups six of cups in reverse yeah the world in reverse you see someone here is coming back around to you and i don't think you you know it yet i mean well i've just told you <laughs> so i guess you know but um you know otherwise you might not be seeing it in your 3d um environment just yet okay so that seems pretty clear um let me just see is there anything else here mm. I don't think so, but let, let me just look at this Knight of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Oh, 
the star in reverse aquarius energy there yeah it's almost like you know there's potential you your faith maybe your person's faith might be dwindling a bit or there have been there's been an ebb and flow with how um invested you've both both been at times or how hopeful you've both been at times there's there's definitely a feeling here from both of you um you know eight of cups reverse six of cups the star um that you're continually drawn together but it's almost like fine great when is this going to manifest into something i can see something we can grow with this ace of pentacles here and the thing is it's not like you can just say oh well it's not happening and walk away because the potential is always looming is what i'm seeing right so um let's have a look then that's what the situation is let's move to some guidance and advice in terms of if you want to working with the energy that's coming in with the eclipse on the 30th of april or just getting an understanding of, of you know what energy might be around due to the eclipse Some of you would need to know, please, about the energy the eclipse is bringing in on and around the 30th of April, please, regarding their love life, their love situation. If also, just to say, if um, your person doesn't have a specific, like one other specific person, like a, someone they're married to, or it's not like a specific job interest that they're committed to, it could be that they're kind of playing it casual with you and other people and you're wondering you might wonder sometimes is this really special between us or maybe i'm just like a rest for them you know um, are they actually going to settle down and commit with me i do think there's something different here between you and them you know it's not every day we have these cards you know six of cups the star that's when you're really really drawn to one specific thing or one specific person okay we have the five of pentacles okay oh look at that nice yeah so just as a heads up um at the beginning maybe even already now this at the beginning of the week you might be feeling an emphasis around this detachment separation wondering what on earth is going on but these cards here are giving me the same message that we just saw unexpectedly there is um, a turn of events maybe a new opportunity action with this ace of wands we go from cold desolate snowy energy into fire and warmth Yeah, look at that queen of wands so okay i'm seeing whatever is offered to you whatever this change of energy is this opportunity you see it and you grab it um you're not going to miss it and it's something around a new beginning i'm looking at this sunflower here as well the, the black cat down here is telling me that intuitively you're going to understand yeah this is something i want to to move forward with here so I see you feeling confident, empowered, recognized. You feel at the very least that the divine, that the universe is seeing you and gifting you something. You're not going to feel, you know, this energy here, five of pentacles, it, sometimes we can feel like, have I been forgotten? I've been doing everything I can. Does spirit care? Does the universe care? You're not going to feel that way um, as we move closer to the eclipse is what I'm seeing. Yep. And temperance, healing, balance, reciprocity. So this can certainly be between you and your person. But really, as I said, at the very least, it's between you and the divine here. You know, you've given whatever you needed to. You've taken the steps, done the healing, all of that. And now, you know, you're getting, um, you're being gifted here. Something, something that lights you up, something you're passionate about. The moon in the reverse. We have Pisces. We also have Sagittarius over here. <clears throat> yeah, I think you're going to see something. Something is coming to light. Um which is ironic because it's the eclipse it's sort of the opposite but um something is coming to light around this situation i think you're probably currently in that feels maybe cold detached there's confusion things aren't clear um things may feel worse than they actually are and that's something you'll realize soon it's very similar i think to that reading i put out yesterday um where you know if, if something has happened and it seems like a really negative turn of events it turned out that actually things weren't as they seemed that's kind of what I'm, I'm seeing here any illusions are slipping away specifically things that have made you feel ignored or forgotten maybe even a bit hopeless 
Oh, we have the devil, Capricorn energy. So something's very spicy here. <laughs> something's passionate, intense. There could be like a physical reunion, reconnection with your person. But oh my goodness, look, as I pause, the lovers on the back, twin flames for some of you. We have um, the energy of Gemini here. So there could be some communication that brings in this new fire. Um, also, you know, the lovers and the devil, two sides of the same coin, the shadow and the light. Very, very intense energy coming in for you really um all encompassing here but anyway the devil you know it can talk about um all the really pleasurable things um you know we, we associate the enjoyment of these with venus with taurus with libra um you know food um surroundings the like look, liking excuse me <laughs> enjoying looking at beautiful things being surrounded by beautiful things nice fabrics um you know like quality things so there could be some indulgence going on as well look this really wants to come out on top so we'll leave it but it's not over indulgence it's um it's like it's just the right amount and it, <laughs> It's almost like it's really needed after this time of feeling in some sort of a poverty situation here, uh, feeling a huge lack. I mean, look at this. For some of you, there's going to be um, an outright, just straight up amazing reconnection here. Completely unexpected. It's the sort of thing we always hear about in readings, but you know, half the time never happens. I see it, <laughs> I see it actually happening here. For some reason, I'm thinking of Leo energy as well. Okay, so let's see. We have the um, Age of Swords reversed with the Queen of Pentacles. So for those of you who know your partner, your partner, that's so weird. I just heard your partner has a mistress. What on earth? Okay. Um, <laughs> For those of you who know that your person, your specific person has a partner, maybe you think of them, you think of yourself as being the partner you know and the other person as being a distraction or something. Um, this other person, this third person is still around, of course, it's only, you know, a few days from now, but it's like suddenly you're not bothered by this person. See, we have the tower on the back. There's some, some change in thinking here or a change in situation that really brings you um, peace, confidence, Scorpio energy. Maybe um, there's this reconnection and you find out something through your person or you just see things in a different way. It could be that the energy of the eclipse is bringing in a fresh perspective, is um, revealing these, these secrets. Okay. And we have the star, exactly. Okay, Aquarius energy here. This is um, feeling very much on track having hope, having faith again, going from this five of pentacles, hopelessness, into really believing. And it's not believing necessarily in things outside of yourself, which can be a bit risky because if they disappear, your faith is gone. This is believing in yourself here. Maybe faith in the strength of your connection with your person. Look and see how these, we have the angel holding the two cups. It's almost like you're gifted these and you, you again, you see them, you take them. So you've got some, um, some really positive changes coming in and there's no chance of you missing them is what I'm seeing here. You know, the wand, you take it, the cups, you take them. Um, what else? This rabbit here is making me think of fertility. So if you specifically with the pentacle, if you have a business idea, um, maybe just like a side hustle or you want to completely change career um, or invest in something, this could be a great time um, to be thinking about that. And we will, of course, do the career finances section in a minute. You know, these two people in the five of pentacles are making me think of you and your person here their struggle but then we have you know the, the the two people in the lovers two people in the devil card they're not struggling they're facing in both cards they're facing one another in both cards they're naked which means um well first of all there's an openness there's a vulnerability you know here i am now you can see me i can see you i you know we can see the truth of each other in the situation but also you know it, it's kind of telling me i know this sounds really silly but it's telling me the temperature is just right we don't you know we're not too too um well i don't know if they're too hot there's not really anything else they could take off but we're not too cold we're not freezing um 
you know, and if you think of, of the weather, the temperature is a metaphor to be cold, to be be freezing. It, it's lack, isn't it? It's um, not feeling that we have what we need. And there's fear in that. Are we going to freeze to death? Am I being freezed out? You know, have I been put out in the cold? And we're getting away from that energy into into an energy that's, that's much more comfortable here. For some of you, there will be a reconnection and the passion will be very, very strong. Um, and you might not expect it to be. You might not expect things to go in that direction, but I think they will. And you might be saying, oh, should I, shouldn't I? Am I going to regret it? I don't think you will, to be honest. Okay, so let's get some oracle messages. Okay. So the energy that's coming in, please, with the eclipse, guidance and advice. Oh, see, soulmate. We've had this right from the start. It could be soulmate. It could be twin flame. With the red, this is that rooted energy, that ace of pentacles that's been hovering. Some of you with this third eye, you might know it already. You might feel it. You might sense it, even though you're not seeing it with your 3D eyes. His eyes, 3D eyes are closed. With this hand, the eye on the hand here, it's making me think of the um, chakras in our hands that we don't really hear about. So some of you could be healers. If you've been feeling guided to invest in maybe be like a healing um course degree modality whether it's spiritual or more of like a 3d sort of hands-on healing i think this is a good time to at least look it up you know that message with this queen of pentacles here we have gratitude yes i think there's going to be something that happens you know around this eclipse to really put you in a place of feeling grateful um, and, yes, and we have renewal, you see, exactly, there we go. And the cards, the colours are so interesting. We have two for the root chakra, we have one for the third eye, the crown, which is what I was saying, it's like you intuitively know, you see, you feel something new is coming in here, even if you're not seeing it with your physical eyes. Nice, okay. And as I said, when this this change comes in, this opportunity, whatever it is, this gesture comes in, you are absolutely not going to miss it. Okay, what else, please? You are capable, you can do this. Okay, so whatever comes in, it might feel big. You might feel like, oh, should I... Um, am I ready at this time? This is sudden, it's big, it's unexpected, it's overwhelming. You might even feel like you want to curl up like this hedgehog, you know, can and be a bit spiky, be a bit um, self-protective. But I don't think this is a time where you need to protect yourself. You're coming across woman or man watching this, male or female, as um, this queen of wands, you know, very empowered, very confident, very um, certain in your ability to create, to handle anything that comes up. Your struggle is not an indication of failure. Yeah, exactly. Um, and this could be a struggle that you might anticipate as well, um, or fear. You know, am I going to have a struggle here? Is it going to fail? And you might be saying, I can't take any more failures, so I, I want to hold back. Well, if it doesn't go according to plan, it doesn't mean you have failed. It could mean there are things that need to fall into place. It could mean, um, you know, the other person, your person maybe needs to, to make some changes. It could be just... That was the next thing that needed to happen on your path here. Okay, you can do the thing. Yes, exactly. Okay. And maybe it's not really about success or failure. You know, a lot of the time it's about our expectations. And if something doesn't go how we expect, we might say, oh, that failed. But... Maybe it didn't. Maybe it just didn't go exactly how we'd expected. Okay, so what else, please? We have, yep, yeah, playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So for those of you who, you know, are seeing your person face to face and then there's this spark and you're wondering how, you know, how far should I let this go? Should I lay some ground rules or something. I think the advice is it's safe to sort of go with the flow as long as that's comfortable for you. Um, but more generally speaking, I think as we approach the energy of this eclipse, 
trying to be more relaxed with yourself with the connection is definitely going to get you further and also just feel much better because i feel that you may have been in this five of pentacles energy which is really harsh really severe conditions okay criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform yes exactly i think this is about um accepting going with the flow um being kinder to yourself maybe kinder to each other as well so if you are actively manifesting now and you want to use the energy of the eclipse let's have a look what messages we get from this deck <laughs> new moon in aries go for it okay there is yeah there is something here you may have been holding on to and thinking about and i do think the time you know this is a good time the energy the land the situation is very fertile um maybe you prepared it well okay what else please um new moon in scorpio go deeper okay and then we have um make time for self-love last quarter moon in libra okay so this could be reflecting going deeper spending time with yourself there could be something that's trying to come to light from your shadow side your subconscious maybe you know you're having um re what's the word Reco recurring dreams i'm not sure if recurring is the right word well the same dreams regularly <laughs> you know you know what i mean um Yeah, but there is something here that's going on within yourself and you're being encouraged to take this, you know, <clears throat> to spend some time. It doesn't even have to be like every day for a month. It could just be an hour, you know, one time or half an hour, whether you do journaling, meditation, you go for a walk, you do some sort of art or baking, cooking, making something, painting something, um, building something, whatever you do, you know, um, whatever makes you feel calm calm enough that anything that's sort of floating around trying to get past your your ego your conscious mind your thoughts can maybe creep through okay and then let's finally get some messages from the archangels here around this love situation and then i'm going to move into finances and career oh okay we have leadership it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others and we have clairsentience. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Now, this doesn't surprise me at all. I feel many of you are just straight up clairsentient here. If not, you might be clairvoyant with that um, eye card coming up. Um, but, but some kind of like intuitive psychic gift ability here. And it, it's telling you something. It could be that, you know, that's what's going on here as well. If you take some time out and figure out you know what's this message that that's trying to come up you'll be able to realize and then you can act on it you can go for it but um yeah whatever you're sensing right now these intuitive nudges i would pay attention to them now leadership it could be you you've been thinking about something to do with um speaking sharing guiding leading around um you know something spiritual psychic intuitive um, or this could just be a message as well saying whatever you've been thinking of doing go for it now's the time you're ready you have the practical things you need the situations ready you have the experience you have the you know awareness um okay and some of this will be love related i almost feel like this is starting now to be a bridge into the career side of things um so i think this is a good time to wrap this up so i hope this helped if you're heading off um otherwise i will just clear this away and then we'll be back for the next part okay so let's get into the career and finances part of this reading so as we did with the love section let's have a look at the current situation what's currently going on in relation to career work finances for you okay spirit can you show me the situation please for my viewers in terms of career 
work, finances. I feel that some of you have an opportunity that's hovering around or it might not be a tangible opportunity. It might be like um, an idea or a goal, um, possibly something you're thinking, how could I transition from what I'm doing now into this? Um, or how could I make this something practical or something that makes enough money? Are there any cards coming out? <laughs> it could be that your situation feels a bit stuck right now. Wow, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you've been working very, very hard. You might feel like you've not had a moment to breathe, to look up. You might want to make changes, but you feel like you've not, you just not had the opportunity. Um, one thing I want to say is the work you're doing and you as an individual in a career work sense, you are integral to either a team, a situation, or to others in a way you might not know. It's, you know, we have a spine here and it's almost like a spine. It's, it's really crucial, you know, but we don't really think about it like most body parts unless something goes wrong. Um, and if the spine had consciousness or has consciousness, it might feel neglected or, you know, ignored or a bit underappreciated. And I feel that you might feel you've been giving and giving and giving. <clears throat> You want to make some sort of a change and you're not aware of the gratitude, you know, that people around you feel for you, how much um, you are appreciated. And I think it's important for you to know that, that all of all of the work you're doing, everything you're giving is seen, is noticed, is appreciated, is valued. OK, yes, look at that. We have the Four of Swords reversed. I think you need a rest, first of all, to be honest. So if you have any holiday you can book, any ways in which you can adjust your um, schedule so that you can maybe have just like a day off, you know, to do whatever it is that you want. Um, I think that would, would help tremendously. We look quite overworked here with a fortune in reverse. And we have the magician. So if you've been feeling, sensing a change, a need for change, something hovering around, you are absolutely right. This will come in once you're able to rest and relax and get into more of a feminine energy. I think you're in a masculine energy now. We all have feminine and masculine within us. The masculine energy is um, sort of outward facing. It's action focused, which you've been in, I, I think, for some time. And that's very productive. That's great. We're going from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine, which is definitely a place of comfort, stability, um, luxury, relaxation. So I get what you're doing here. But I think in the meantime, a short, temporary bit of time off is going to be incredible. It's going to revive you. It's going to allow this Wheel of Fortune to bring in what you deserve here, some gifts for you, things you've been waiting for, changes you've been waiting for. And it puts you back in your power, you know, as a magician here, you feel like you have the energy, you have the space to create, to manifest what it is you've been wanting here. Some of you are really wanting to go through a death and a rebirth, literally to, to step away from what you've been doing and, you know, completely turn, do, to do like a 180 and go in a whole different direction here. And I think you need the room, the headspace, um, to, to pull things together or to think about this or to start taking action in the new direction. Um, okay, we have Gemini energy here. We have um, Sagittarius. I wanted to say Scorpio as well. Okay, the high C. Look at this, the high priestess. It's reversed, but you know, you've got your head down, you're working, you're busy, you're focused, dedicated, but you have this awareness around you. You're being pulled in some direction, or you're, you're being pulled to notice something, to see something. I have to be honest with some of you, whatever you're currently doing, and I do not think this will be a surprise if it's your message, I think it's come to an end. I think you've done incredibly well, you're very successful, however you measure success, you know, you've really given yourself to this, but now I think it's time for the next part of your journey here, and I think you know this, and you're saying, okay, well how? You know, what, what are the steps, which we'll find out in a moment. We have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Wands reversed. See, it's almost like you're itching to move forward here. <clears throat> and I do think once we get a, a bit of like wiggle room here, you know, through 
resting, relaxation, taking some time off, um, even like I said, even if it's just a day, an afternoon, doing something completely unrelated, I think there's going to be a very quick um, turn of events here, quick momentum. Okay, we have, ooh, have the five of wands and we have strength. Okay, we have the Leo energy there on the back. We have the three of wands. Hold on, let me just, um, my battery's about to die. Okay, so I'm back. With the three of wands, yes, this is something out there in the distance. It's something you're wanting, but you might feel like, when is it going to come in? How is it going to come in? We have the page of cups underneath. So you might think, well, hmm, I'd be going from a queen to a page, but then underneath the page of cups is the king of cups. So, oh my goodness, and the nine of pentacles. This is what you're working towards now. This, okay, it looks pretty big to me. It looks like the journey you're on, whatever you're doing, has taken you quite far, or, you know, so far up to this point. You're feeling guided to switch, but there's a there's a, um, a very natural concern around the practicalities of this. How is it going to work? Is it going to work? Will I earn as much money? Will I be able to support myself? You know, those sorts of things. Is it going to be secure, long lasting? It might not seem it right now, but because this seems to be, you know, meant for you with the will of fortune, you're being divinely led towards this. This is in alignment with your higher purpose at this time. It's not only going to be practical, um, lasting, grounded, supportive. It's going to get you to where you've been trying to get with whatever the situation is that you're in now and probably quicker and more easily because you're going to be in alignment. So this could be something that seems like one of those jobs or careers that everyone wants, but you know, no one really makes it happen except a rare few, that sort of thing. Maybe it's very competitive. Um, it could seem like something that people have to do on the side or for a hobby because you can't make a living from it and it's not feasible for most people, but I'm seeing it will be for you because it's meant for you. And when we're in alignment, we don't, it's not just us who's benefiting, it's many others as well. And that's why, um, you know, we are provided for in that sense, because it's not just us gaining, we're giving out and, and many people are gaining. Um, I hope that makes sense. Okay. So, this Queen of Cups, I think this is how you're seen by people, to be honest. You know, you may think you're seen as um, like a King or Queen of Pentacles or even Swords. You know, you're very diligent, very focused. I see success here again in one form or another. Um, but you might feel, again, there's a feeling of, of being a little bit unnoticed or underappreciated and people maybe don't say these kinder, softer words to you. So you might have the idea in your head that, that you're not perceived in that way, or you're not perceived as being approachable in that way, that you're seen as being a hard worker, you're seen as being punctual or whatever it is. Actually, I think people see, they do see how much you care and how much you give with this Queen of Cups, but they just don't say it because, well, we don't really, do we? We don't randomly walk up to a colleague and say, I really appreciate you and your work. You know, it, it's sort of just not what people do, I suppose. Um, but they notice, they feel it. Let's have a look. Let's see. What else, please? Knight of Swords. Yeah, okay. I'm almost feeling people around you might feel... <clears throat> uncomfortable or silly saying this you might sometimes get compliments but it's almost like a compliment that's thrown at you and then they run off you know or you might wonder was that even a compliment was that a nice thing or were they um it was it like a backhanded compliment or <laughs> there's something weird here about how people are communicating with you at this time i think they mean well but we know the knight of swords rushes in says something and then thinks well maybe i could have used more tact or something like that Okay, also, you know, taking this time to rest, however long or short this is, I think, again, that's when you're going to start being able to solidify these intuitive feelings that you're having, which will help you to take the next steps, as well as these outside gifts coming in, this outside momentum and movement. Let's have a look at these five of wands, because the magician and strength is incredibly clear. You know, the, the, um, 
the magician manifests the strength, having the confidence, believing in yourself, pushing through, being able to turn a situation that seems <clears throat> maybe unfavorable in your favor, whether it's changing something within an existing situation or moving more in the direction of something that you do want, something that does resonate. The biggest advice I'm seeing so far is to step into the energy of the Empress, the divine energy of the Empress, so being receptive. And it's not, you know, it's not an energy of being lazy because you've already put the work in. It's an energy of saying, I've done all I can. Now it's best that I receive. And as I say that, we get the Emperor. Classic. <laughs> okay, so I was clarifying the Five of Wands. That's um, Aries energy there. I wonder if um, some of you, the thing you're wanting to do is become self-employed. Um, if not, it could be that you're going to have to, to say something to an employer or a boss and it might be difficult or you get on well with them and you don't want to let them down or something like that. So it's either you stepping into a position of authority, excuse me, over yourself or your own life, or it's you having to say something to someone, maybe you feel they've been very generous or they've given more than they needed to or they've given you extra training or they've really mentored you or something and you kind of don't want to let them down but um i think it's time i think you know and you can still appreciate what someone has done but feel that it's time to move forward um let's see yeah the world in reverse you see it's like this impending closure and ending of something here on the back we have this page of cups so you might really feel that you want to be this emperor, but you're, you know, you're stepping out as a page of cups. And the truth is, you know, very quickly you become the king of cups. You, you're stable with that nine of pentacles. And look, we have the king of cups under here again. That's crazy. Underneath that, we have death. There is something about faith here. It's almost like you, you might want to see the next step and then take it, which, of course, that makes sense you know and, and it's logical and when it comes to work and finances that's what makes us feel secure but there's almost something here where you're needing to take a step based on faith first then something comes in and falls into alignment um so definitely take the the steps you're ready for small or large um for some of you definitely you might want to be wanting to start something you know entrepreneurial here and i just see success to be honest um Nerv nervousness hesitation again be be the empress step into a place of rest where you're thinking about something else entirely and you're going to get some sign some encouragement something you've been waiting for that really boosts your confidence and then i see you going for it and, and i see it happening very very quickly okay so if yeah i think it's tied but if you're here more for like money and finances not so much career and work i do see you've been working very hard with this age of pentacles as i said to get to a place that next step where you have enough maybe you even have more than enough and you can share give some away invest save whatever it is um, you want to do the advice is the same there is something that's trying to come through for you around this some kind of guidance insight message and it's going to come through when you allow your mind to rest maybe when you you give yourself a break from thinking about this or trying to figure this out and again just do however long however much feels comfortable because we don't want to replace possibly overthinking about something with worrying about something or anxiety so even if it's just you know 20 minutes half an hour of meditation or something Okay, so let's get you guidance and advice from Spirit in terms of the energy of the eclipse that's coming in on the 30th of April. So how can you use this energy, work with this energy around work, career, finances? What's your guidance and advice, please, Spirit? For my viewers. These cards feel very slippery, very soft, very easy to shuffle right now. So, and when I, it's funny, when I started with this deck asking about the current situation, nothing was coming out. So really, truly, whatever you can to get in an energy of ease and flow, a lack of resistance um, <clears throat> is going to be your best friend right now. Yeah, look at that, death. Some of you might be resisting this ending because you know what? Who wants to go, who wants a situation to end where they feel secure, they're successful, you know, they're earning a good amount. Um, 
and really i think the thing that's that's putting you away from this is how you feel about it and you might be saying to yourself why can't i just feel differently why can't i just feel how i've always felt this is incredibly inconvenient you know i've I, maybe you are the emperor. I'm the emperor now. I don't want to turn around and have to start something else just because I feel, you know, like it. And I'll, I'll have to be the page um, instead of the emperor. But I'm not sure how long you can ignore this. You know, we have this sun rising in the background. There's a whole new um, cycle phase journey coming in for you. And I just think if I'm honest, if this is resonating, this particular message around feeling that something has run its course, but you're trying to ignore it, I think that situation might just continue gradually to run itself into the ground because it's trying to force you out um, and to push you onto that next path, which is going to be even better for you. See, look at that, two of wands reversed. It's about taking that leap of faith. You, you know, you feel it, you know it, you might even know exactly where it is you're wanting to head, but it's it's risky, you know, um, except it's actually not, it just seems it. Look at this. So we have the queen of pentacles and we have the five of cups. Yeah, this is almost like saying, but I'm good where I am, I'm secure, I'm fine, I'm experienced, you know, I have a contract or whatever it is, but this is how you feel about it, the three of cups, not seeing that there's this incredible opportunity behind. We have the three of pentacles, seven of cups reversed, the world in reverse, it's really closing out. And then we have the four of cups. Okay. Again, we have that message of rest. That's going to help you to change your perspective naturally. It will happen organically. I feel that it's time. It's time to take action on this dream that you have. It's been in your mind. You've been daydreaming about it. Maybe you've been dreaming about it when you've been sleeping. Maybe you've been seeing some signs, synchronicities. You've been aware of some vague opportunities around it, but you've not really pursued them or investigated them. I think now really is the time. And I understand, you know, I can see that you have a pretty good situation in terms of maybe um, your colleagues, your client base, whatever it is, that it seems to be quite harmonious here. You know, Three of Pentacles is nice. We're all working together. We're making progress. Why would you want to leave that behind? Well, because there's something even bigger out there for you. It's time for expansion. So what steps can my viewers take, please? Oh, look at this. See the star. You're acting, you're being asked to act, first of all, on faith. So do something that feels safe, something that, you know, you don't have to quit your day job suddenly. Um, and, and just hope and, and have faith, do something on the side, do something small. Um, and how will you know if it's in, in alignment, if you're taking the right steps? You'll feel excited. It won't feel like effort. You won't feel drained from it. You know, if you come home after a long day, you're not going to think, oh, now I have to do such and such. You're going to say, okay, great. Now I get to do what I want to do. I get to look into this thing, read about it, write to someone about it, take some action. It feels energizing. So that's how you'll know. Now let's have a look at these two cups that you're not yet seeing. Nine of Wands reverse. Yeah, so you'll see it through, um, as I said, ease and flow, dropping the resistance. Yeah, the tower. I really, I see why you're resisting. There's a change here that you, maybe you just weren't expecting to need to make this change. You didn't want to make this change. You might feel it's quite unfair as well. Yeah, Knight of Cups reverse, Ten of Cups reverse, Ace of Wands. So I think you might be losing love, passion for whatever you're currently doing, um, trying in all ways to keep it going, to get the, the, the love back, the passion back. But it, maybe it's just, it, you just, just feel like it keeps draining away. But look, it's going to rep be replaced with the Ace of Wands. And on the back, we have this King of Pentacles. So I keep seeing not just you being as secure in the future as you are now, I keep seeing you levelling up, you know? But first you've got to uh, trust. Okay, trust yourself, you know, trust what you're feeling. So around then the energy of this eclipse, I would say um begin you know if you haven't begun at all take your initial steps maybe start looking into things researching things um 
if it's something you want to apply for, getting your CV ready, filling in an application. I'm hearing printing the application off. So someone might be feeling overwhelmed even at the thought of having to fill in an application. So maybe just print yourself a copy and allow yourself to read through it, you know? Um, think about it for a while before you start even trying to draft something. If it's something you want to build, let's say, um, keep on YouTube, I keep getting recommendations for um, people making videos around how they make cosmetics. And I keep getting them, if I'm honest, because I click on them. <laughs> I had one. And I was like, what's this? Um, and it's so fun. It's so addictive to watch, you know, how they make the homemade creams. And then they sort of like, you know, put them in the jar and they look like whipped cream. And then um, there was one of a woman sharing how she makes lip gloss. And I was just like, wow, this is so outside of anything I know about. And it's so addictive and interesting to watch um so let's say for example like if i decided i wanted to start making cosmetics i would not know where to begin um so a step i might take would be i don't know maybe just to watch those videos you know see what information um these people share maybe then i can from there i can go and research something or look something up so and that wouldn't be scary that's just me sitting at home watching youtube you know so it can be something quite small it's just about allowing yourself to um so my, all my cards have dropped on the floor to follow that that nudge that gut feeling we have soulmate which is incredible because i just had this as the first card for the love section of this reading which if you watched you will know and the only other card out of all of the ones that spilled on the floor that's upright is workaholic <laughs> you see there's that age of pentacles you are the backbone of something here you feel it you know it you might think other people don't realise it, but they absolutely do. Um, I actually think some of you have a really nice work situation going on with wherever you work, whoever you work with. And you might, it's like you're saying, oh, I wish, I wish I could just still feel that this was meant for me. I wish I still loved whatever I'm doing, but I just don't. Um, or I do, but it's, it's not as much and I'm feeling drawn towards something else. Okay, well, I'll move on from um, this deck as, you know, most of it's on the floor but um that's really interesting soulmate workaholic i wonder as well for a few of you if you work with um a love interest and you might worry well if i if i move if i change role if i go somewhere else is that going to be the end of our connection will we see each other anymore um because I, you know i have had people say that to me in the past this is confirmation no your connection is strong enough that it doesn't matter, you know, if you see each other every day or not, if you work together or not. Okay, what else, please? We have outdoors. Go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Yes, see, this is about taking that time off, doing something entirely different. And through doing this, through not even intentionally thinking about work, career and the changes around it, you're going to become inspired. Because I, I feel the inspiration, the ideas already there. They're just underneath, you know, your everyday thoughts, your routine, the things you have to do, have to remember any worries any concerns okay we have indigo and crystal children you have a bond with children in particular you can help children who are sensitive so yeah some of you might be moving into more of like a spiritual intuitive arena leading guiding informing um this could be something to do with helping to heal or helping people's inner child to be heard maybe it's your own as well and we have moon cycles. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalise upon these cycles. So yeah, that's very um, relevant with the eclipse, but also maybe in general working with the cycles of the moon. We also know the moon talks about um, our intuitive feelings and we do have the moon with the Queen of Cups, which is what I was saying about, you know, it's, it's, it's like these intuitive nudges are going to become clearer and stronger. Um, the more you can sort of give yourself time to relax and to hear them. Because, uh, you know, the messages we get um, through our gut feeling, through our intuition, are always quiet. They're consistent, but quiet. You know, they're not shouting, they're not screaming. Um, okay. So let's see. We have... 
you're not going to succeed at everything you try and that's okay. Well, this thing I think you will succeed at. Do you know what I think you might be feeling you're not succeeding at anymore? Is whatever you're currently focused on. And it could be that practically, externally, outwardly, everything is going fine, everything is the same. But, you know, does it feel like success internally anymore? You're capable, you can do this. Yes, absolutely. Um, there is no need to be so hard on yourself. You're managing as best as you can. Yeah. Okay, exactly. And you know, you're not going to succeed at everything. Um, honestly, I do think you're going to succeed in whatever this new venture is. But if you remember this for some of you it might bring a sense of comfort like well I'm, I'm not expected to be amazing at everything especially straight away that might help you relax into almost giving yourself permission to try something you know especially if you are hard on yourself and you expect perfection straight away it's like writers um i heard years ago that uh sometimes writers say they're writing a book or something or whatever they'll put at the top of the paper if it's their first draft, that first drafts are meant to be rubbish, you know, and then that helps them to to get the first draft out. Um, okay, so it could be the equivalent of that, you know, not not putting the pressure on, which actually allows you to go for it more. Off, by the way um, a writer and you're interested in tarot as well there's an awesome channel that I'm going to put on my community tab that I wanted to sort of um, you know mention for anyone who's interested because I know I work with a lot of people who are writers communicators or want to become writers um, and it's a nice tarot writing crossover so um, go and check that out if you're interested okay what else please what else here? We have let your fears dissolve. Yes, exactly. And that is a full moon in Cancer. You know, Cancer related to the home, family, comfort. I do think, and I completely understand, it's it, that you have a fear around <clears throat> is this going to be a practical move? You know, am I going to. Am I going to be destabilizing myself and maybe even others, my family potentially? Um, am I going to be able to keep this comfortable home going that we have if I make this change? Um, last quarter moon in Sagittarius, practice gratitude. And that's interesting. I saw a video just last night um, where the woman was talking about um, writing a letter of, in fact, I'm just going to link it below because it's so perfect for this. So writing a letter um of gratitude to the universe in general just to say thank you for everything i have but also in terms of applying for a job um <clears throat> scripting your letter of acceptance in advance to help manifest so let's say you've gone for an interview you haven't heard back yet so you're, you're typing out thank you so much for the opportunity i would love to take this position so that when they write to you and say we'd love to offer you the job you can just copy and paste and send it so Actually, yes. I Should I make a note? No, hopefully I'll remember. Okay, <clears throat> but I will link that below in case you want to, to watch that. And we have assess the situation. Yes, first quarter moon in Virgo. So what are the real true details of this situation with the energy of Virgo? You know, it's, it's like I said, if I wanted to start making makeup, cosmetics, I might have a broad idea of I want to make this, this and this. I have an idea of how I want the packaging to look, but I, am, I know nothing of the details and that can feel overwhelming. I don't know where to begin. So if I just start actually trying to understand the, you know, the nuances behind this, I start to feel calmer. I start to feel like it's more manageable. So um, maybe taking smaller steps here as well, bite sized steps. Okay, and finally, let's see what other messages we have here. The career, work, finances around the energy of the eclipse. 
when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but the soul and the memories you have shared with those you love so this is that thing you know if you have that struggle between my heart saying one thing everything else in my life my brain my rationale is saying the other spirit is saying well what's ultimately more important you know what what nourishes your soul what are you taking with you also you know when you pass from this world i don't i think this is about maybe the death of something you have been giving to working on investing in transitioning in terms of um you know career path something like that letting something go letting something maybe um you know die out die off transitioning from that okay, what else please we have secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on yeah so for some of you there is a romance work crossover here excuse me and if you're worried well if i leave will we see each other again will things end i don't think they're going to end i think your connection is, is stronger than that okay so we'll take all of these cards we have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. Yeah, exactly. This is about moving forward. We have sexual union. Honour the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true, true, true bliss. Excuse me. So... Um, in the context of this career and work reading, this could be talking about the sacral chakra and, you know, the solar plexus as well. So we know the sacral is connected to the genitals, connect, connected to reproduction. So birthing something new, feeling in, um, impassioned by this. And yeah, we have passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Definitely. Yes. So... I know when it comes to, you know, money and things and career and reputation, all of that and, and building something stable, feelings, passion can seem flimsy um, in comparison, you know, to what we need to do, what we should do. But if I'm honest, I really, really think that unless you are able to find ways to start nurturing this desire within you, the other situation, however good it has been up until now, is going to become increasingly more difficult to stay in, you know, um, because I think you're being pulled into something else. And in the long run, it might take some work, it might take some planning, some diligence, but in the long run, it's going to, you're going to be even more successful in a practical sense than you are now. Um, okay, so I will leave this here. I hope this has helped, whether you watch this part, both parts, you know, love and career. Um, I'm going to put the link below, like I said, for that manifestation video. And I will also, in my community, tab section have um, the link to the, the writing tarot channel I mentioned um, by Celeste. So yeah, okay, thank you so much for watching and um, hopefully I will see you soon. Bye!